Yo, what's up, yo? This is Killer Priest, and I'm representing right now for Kofi Universe. That universe is the universe you should be in. YouTube salute. So Buster Rhymes has been caught on camera arguing with another attendee at French Montana's album release party in NYC. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video. Hit that sub button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So, um, this all took place Friday, February 23rd at Harbor NYC in Midtown Manhattan. Um, footage was shared by the Shade Room the following day. In the footage, Buster Bus appears to be getting in the face of an aspiring rapper from Staten Island named Nizzleman. Hmm. Nizzle appears to fall down the stairs and Buster Rhymes seems to grab his wrist to confront him about something. They talk back and forth in a way that doesn't appear to be friendly. And it isn't long before a pack of security guards step between the two men and escort Nizzle Man out um, of Buster Rhymes section. And it seems he got out the club too. So... Um, people in the comment section have said that it didn't appear that Buster and Nizzle were fighting. Rather, it appeared them that the elder statesman of rap was trying to de-escalate the situation and had Nizzle man escorted out before things got violent with whoever he may have been beefing with. Neither Buster Rhymes nor Nizzle man has commented about the altercation. Um, damn, you know, let me see something. I can't show the footage because you already know what they're going to do. So before his album release party, French Montana stopped by the Breakfast Club to reveal that he'd been inspiring to buy the block in the past and stop dead in his tracks when Nipsey Hussle was murdered. Okay, I'll get to that video in another second. But um, as far as Buster Rhymes, you know, did he escalate in a situation? I ain't mad at Buster Bust. You do what you got to do, man, when you're in that situation because you probably don't want nobody going to jail. You don't want nobody probably, you know, being deleted off this planet. Um, You know, people... Quick to go grab a gap. People quick to grab a weapon. Um, anything to use to harm somebody. But to me, this is me. I don't want to disrespect nobody out there. But I only speak. I don't go to no parties no more. No clubs. I don't care what homie it is. I'm not coming to your birthday party. I stopped doing that stuff long time ago. I don't do it no more because it's stuff like this. You can just be minding your business. What happens if you have to break up something? You have to de-escalate, you know, an altercation, a physical altercation, a verbal altercation, and you in the middle of the BS. Now what's going to happen? You might get hurt. You might get deleted off this planet. And then everybody going to still be here chilling like a villain on top of the ceiling. It ain't worth it. Some people love the limelight. Cool. Go out there. Support yourself. You a brand. Do what you need to do. Some people are like, hey, man, it's, you know, it's, it's security. Everything going to be all right. And that's true. A lot of times everything is going to be all right. But to me, I just leave that stuff alone. That's not even my cup of tea. You know, the most I'm going to do, movies, go get something to eat. Um, if I'm out the country, yes, I'll go somewhere nice, whatever. But I'm still not going to no, you know, club shit. That's just not my, I don't, I don't, I'm not attracted to that. Some people, they 50, 60, 70 years old, and they will stay in the club all their lives. And I'd be like, huh? Y'all still doing that? But you know what? Different strokes for different folks. You have to really look at that. Because some people, that's all they know, and that's all they love. That's cool. Everybody has a different program. This is not my program. Now, somebody probably might say, oh, yeah, but if you was a rapper, MC, you would be right in there. You're probably right, because my mentality probably be different. I have a different mentality. I have a different journey. But if I had the same journey I have right now, and I was in the rap industry, as far as like a, a one of the greatest rappers of all time, nah, I'm, I'm different. You know, look at Kendrick Lamar, and I'm not making a comparison. He's not in everybody section and chilling like a villain. He'll show up to every few people's, you know, birthday parties. Like he showed up to Nas 50th birthday party last year, 50th birthday party last year. He did show up. J. Cole not out there like that. I'm not saying people should want to be like him, but everybody's different. Some people want to be out there. Some people want to do certain things. Going to like a, a football game, a basketball game, ain't nothing wrong with that. A combat sports event, ain't nothing wrong with that. I have nothing against that because I'm all about that type of stuff too. You should want to entertain yourself. I'm not saying don't entertain yourself, but I'm just saying 
the world we live in today, you want to have a good time, but you got somebody else that you know nothing about. Because when they're indulging the um the reefer, the alcohol, they're might they're gonna turn into a different person. And you can't monitor everybody. You might be cool. I might be cool when I have a drink or two or not. As far as like, I, uh, you know, I'm, uh, that's cool. I don't need no more. Some people have one drink and they lose themselves. They never the same again. So some things is just more like, man, I'm good. I'd rather just have my own party in my own damn house, watch my TV, my documentaries, go to bed and get up in the morning and work out, make my money. Post your comments below. Post smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content to go live. You want to support? Donate to the channel. I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kobe Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.